Nemesis gets sprayed! So when it comes to Luffy going to Egghead, we've already talked about like what would have happened if Long went to Egghead, what would have happened if Kid went to Egghead, but what would have happened if Luffy went to Winter Island where Blackbeard was going? Because a lot of people, you know, they give Luffy and the Straw Hats a lot of credit considering they are an Emperor crew, unlike Kid and unlike Law. But at the same time, with the way Blackbeard is and how the Straw Hats really do struggle in situations that they are new to, I don't think they would have won if they ran into Blackbeard there. What do you think? Oh, man. I, I think that... Um... Gear 5 Luffy is giving everybody a run for their money. Um, That's true. I, I don't think that Blackbeard is prepared to go against a Gear 5 Luffy, depending on how, yeah, you know, we already discussed earlier that, like, you know, Gear 5's time limit is very inconsistent right now. But yeah. I, I don't know if, I, even if it's like 30, 40 minutes, I don't know if Blackbeard can, like, take it and really still be. Uh, as much of a menace as he, they would need him to be um, because uh, like I brought up earlier like the actual Blackbeard Pirates are not there there's only like half of them I don't know exactly which members were there um, I know Van okay. Auger wasn't there um, yeah if we no 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 we go down the list when Law was well, no no he was, he was actually he was. yeah we we had Von Auger uh, Burgess man really got the thing Oh, Doc Q, stronger. He's the horse, but I mean, counts. It's a mythical a zone in Pegasus horse. fruit. For all we know, that could do something crazy. Still, but he's still there, you know. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, um, other than like some, you know, extra people that are just kind of, you know, fodder, don't really mean too much. They're on the ship, but I think it was mainly just those guys that were there. Everybody else was back in full of lead, dealing with Garp. One. Spoilers, by the way. So we're gonna be talking about some things that are happening a bit later i'm gonna keep these a little lighter though so because we y'all know if y'all saw the opening the latest opening of one piece y'all already know that garp is going to be fighting kuzan and kuzan's affiliated with blackbeard that that is information that you guys already know so that's going to be something that happens later i'll keep it light so that when it happens y'all can still be uh fully enthused but if we are going to talk about it more in detail i'll let you know what a spoiler warning before we do but uh, even with the few members of the Blackbeard Pirates that they do have, I feel like the showing that Blackbeard had versus Law showcased like how dangerous the Quake Quake crew can be in somebody's hands that's not Whitebeard. Because Whitebeard was like super tame, right? When he was on the battlefield and his crew was there, he was rarely using it, right? It was mainly just his own strength he was using. It wasn't until people, unless he was really far away, that's when he would use it. But up close and personal with his crew being around him, he wasn't doing none of that. Blackbeard didn't care. He was he was falling from the sky, kick, uh, quake crash, and just everybody couldn't do anything. They, like, I will say, like Sanji, Zoro, Luffy, Jinbei, they're not, maybe even Frankie, they're not going to be like sent flying by this. But they will be heavily staggered because I don't think any of them have been on the receiving end of an earthquake punch. None of them had to fight Whitebeard. So this, and he's using more power because he doesn't care. Not to say like he's stronger than Whitebeard per se with it. It's just Whitebeard was holding back. Blackbeard does not care to do that. He's he destroyed like a quarter of the island that they were fighting on in the first place. I feel it, I feel it, but I feel like, for me, right, when we look back at that fight, the reason that Law and his crew lost is because it's top-heavy. Like, other than Law, who is really holding it down with his squad? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, Sanji and Pena, hey, look, like, they was doing stuff, like, but they were not doing stuff to the level of Sanji. They weren't doing stuff, hell, I would say that most of them weren't doing stuff to the level of Brooke robin you know what i mean so it's like if your second and third in command are not even breaching I, I would say chopper's probably stronger the only one that's like will be stronger than chopper or comparable is beppo in his sulong form so it's like his top brass is bottom tier um straw hats easy 
bottom tier. So I like, wouldn't say I wouldn't say bottom. Well, I mean, at least when it comes to when it comes to not just Bevel but John Bart, because how strong you got to be to tank one of his bullets. We saw him just no scope one shot cracker biscuit soldiers, and Luffy with Gear Three was struggling with those. Gear Four, Luffy was struggling with those. John Bart went ate the bullet to the chest, nothing. Didn't even break the shirt, right? So I feel like in, in the similar way how he did that, maybe Zoro Sanji Sanji probably could take the bullet. Current Sanji. Yeah. Um, but, you know, regardless, I feel like he, Jinbei, Zoro, they could all deflect it. Mm. Zoro, jump, he'll jump in a way, deflect the bullet, like, easy. I'm sure he can do that. But the Straw Hats are just very notorious for ending up in situations where if your power is, like, really tricky to deal with and they are taken by surprise, they're susceptible to loss, to losses. And in this situation where Blackbeard is pulling up with a whole bunch of things that they had never seen before. Zoro remembers Burgess, but does he remember Burgess picking up and throwing mountains? Mm -hmm. Now, like, we're getting to some territory where I'm not saying Burgess would beat him, but that would be like a, that would take him by surprise. You're getting ready to fight this dude and then he just picks up a mountain and he just yeets it at you. And you're like, all right, I got, now I'm dealing with this. While you're dealing with that, over on this side, you got, to deal with Von Auger warping around because it's like, all right, Sanji and Usopp will have a very hard time trying to keep up with that because you know who he is. You know this dude's a sniper until you see him vanish out of thin air. You're like, wait a minute. Where is this guy? Sanji would probably know where he went first, but Sanji would not be able to like get to him. Imagine Sanji like speed blitz over to where he is, but even though how Sanji can move like kind of at, if not a little bit faster than the speed of light, Teleportation is instantaneous. So he would like narrowly miss him every time before he warps somewhere else. Meanwhile, who who's containing Blackbeard, right? Cause he more than likely started off this encounter the same way he did with Law. Boom, Quake Punch. Y'all are already disorientated, right? And if Luffy, Luchi isn't awake, he is an awakened zone, but I feel like if Luchi was able to take several hits, get back up, you know, Blackbeard, who I would I would say his durability has to at least be greater. That he's a, he's a whole emperor, and, and he we see him take quite a bit of punishment versus Blackbeard. I mean, uh, versus Whitebeard, um, sent Goku during Marine Ford, and that was two years ago. And he has to be way stronger now, right? So I don't think Gear Five Luffy. He'll while in Gear Five, he would probably you know land way more hits on Blackbeard than Blackbeard would on him. But eventually, that's gonna start to wind down. Or maybe, who knows? If, does Black Hole work on him? If he goes Kurozu and grabs Luffy, will Gear 5 just... And if that happens, he's screwed. He still has hockey, but you're now like getting choked by Blackbeard the same way Boa was whoever was, and then he goes with the other fist. Quake. Quake. And you're like, Luffy, he can take a lot of punishment, but the Quakes also do crazy AOE. This is hurting the Straw Hats too. I feel like, like his powers are just too much to fight him in a scenario where you're not ready for him is what I feel like. I feel what you're but, saying. I feel you. Go ahead, go ahead. No, but, uh, but if, if you think that they have like a better way, like I'm saying things like what I think could happen in that in these scenarios, like once Blackbeard does Black Hole, I don't see Luffy being able to get out. I don't see everybody else being able to help him in that scenario either, especially with Von Auger. Von Auger is busted support. Absolutely busted support. Meanwhile, uh, Jesus Burgess is no slouch either. Meanwhile, the people in the crew that don't got hockey, whatever disease stronger, I mean, a Doc Q made up from on high with stronger, what do they do? If he, like, he made this feminine disease and it was like, all right, just to kind of show us that he can do whatever he wants, make whatever disease he wants, he can make smallpox. Just give it to him. I, hey, look, that's what we got Chopper for, <laughs> man. Chopper's gonna be there. He's going to take care of everybody. He's going to be like, man, I can make a, a vaccine for this. Just buy me some time. You feel me? 
but yeah, that's true. I mean, so I feel like when Law fought, it was more of like a all, like all v all. Um, you know, everybody was just fighting everybody. Yeah. But I don't feel like that's ever the case with the Straw Hats, though. I feel like every time we see the Straw Hats get into a squabble, like everybody gets their one v ones. You know what I mean? So if that's the if we follow the traditional case of it, the question then becomes like, what are the one v ones, and does that Straw Hat win that one v one? And that kind of helps determine the ending of the overall fight, in my opinion. What do you think? That makes sense. I would say, however, if there was any crew in the series that Luffy couldn't have a traditional 1v1 against, it would be Blackbeard's crew. I, I feel that. I, they, do, they, they fight they don't dirty. Play by the rules. They fight yeah, dirty. Exactly. You know, he's a filthy motherfucker. He, <laughs> <laughs> Jinbe could be fighting Burgess, and then all of a sudden, he got to deal with a sniper shot coming from way over yonder. And it's like, whoa. But when you dodge that bullet, Burgess is in your face. Uppercut. I mean, I mean, that's because Usopp already got taken out, I guess. Like, I don't know, man, because this is... No, I feel like they got it, they got it. They got to have some kind of, you know, some kind of meeting, some kind of, one. like, I don't know. That's all yeah, I get. Yeah, I feel, I feel like afterward, 100%. It's just on first, like, Law's, this is Law's first encounter. So it's like, all right, we know Blackbeard has to quake for Everybody else, that that's mystery stuff. You're on your ship, and all of a sudden, <coughs> Chopper start coughing. Remember, he don't got hockey. If he get infected first by some nonsense, it's up. There's not much they can do. Well, but you don't know where it's coming from either. It's just happening, right? This is true. I don't think that Luffy would have necessarily had the. Uh the information necessary to figure out the hockey thing but i could be wrong like do you think that the same way law figured it out luffy would be able to figure it out because if he could the same way that law cured his crew luffy could technically do that as well not to mention zoro although he has unconfirmed uh conqueror's hockey but you know we pretty much do believe that he does yeah, I'm sure he does. Like, I think Kaido vouching for it, and then like the green hockey flowing on his blades is like, yeah, Zoro's a conqueror. Um, conqueror's coding is the thing that I think is still up in the air on if he'll have it. Some people have been saying like when he's using Ashura, that's like him using conqueror's coding, and I think that would make because it's like it's like a very strong hockey on his body that's so strong you actually see the other arms and swords and faces. Mm. when they're not actually there so at least that's how i kind of broke it down so those you're right with those people they would get out of it and it would like spread the antibodies everybody else would get out of it too the same way doc you said that it works that don't stop him from making another disease and it, it's it's just it's a it's a high octane situation because it's like the gas never stops it's like all right everybody's cured from that another quake and it's like man we really can't breathe. You come out of the ship and immediately Von Agra is somewhere, but you don't know that because you don't, you don't, maybe Sanji, you know what? I'll say that we got like Sanji and Luffy. They would probably be like, Nami duck, bullet fly right over her head. And before Sanji can like look to see where it came from or what, oh, you shot Nami and he like darts in that direction. Von Agra just warps away and he's like, wait, what? He looks around, he might like, like we saw with the, uh, Minor spoilers for, um, I guess it's decent spoilers for people that aren't caught up in the manga. But like when Sanji ran up on Ethan, one of the Gorosei members, and he kicked him. Sanji didn't know what this dude's abilities were. He just saw that he was about to attack his, his crew and his friends. So he goes in, he kicks him, and then afterwards, Sanji gets caught by the bite. Now, I'm not saying the bite did a lot of damage. And I'm not saying if he got shot by Von Arby, it'd do a lot of damage. But it would catch him by surprise because he would have no idea what it is he's dealing with. And that kind of goes for all the straw hats. We've always seen whenever someone like Dofi, who I, I would say Dofi's way weaker than Luffy, but Dofi was able to almost win at least just because like, oh, you couldn't beat me with the time limit. Oh yeah, it, it, it's over. It's over then. It, he needed everybody else to help him get away and build that time back up. So in a similar way, Gear 5 is like, oh, I can see Gear 5 like messing Blackbeard up. Right, because Luffy, Luffy knows he knows Blackbeard's a threat ever since the beginning in Jaya. 
one of my favorite scenes about Luffy that like shows how much of a OG uh, real nigga that he is, is that <laughs> it's that when he first met Blackbeard, he knew that he hated him. After Bellamy and his crew like mocked on him and everything and they left the bar and Blackbeard gave Luffy and Zoro their props for standing their ground. Luffy just looked at him and he didn't say anything. He didn't smile. He didn't agree. He just looked at that. And then Zoro's walking away. Nami's walking away. She's like, Luffy, come on. Luffy's not doing, he's still standing looking at Blackbeard. And it wasn't until Blackbeard got up, walked off, and he was away from them that Luffy finally stopped, turned around to leave. He did not let Blackbeard out of his sight. So this might be one of the situations we see Luffy at his most serious. Because he, Blackbeard, from Jump Street, Luffy was always serious with him. Then that's the same dude my brother was going after. And for some reason, he was able to hurt me even though I'm rubber. And then I see what he did at, well, I heard about what he did at the war, right? And he took um, Ace Pop's devil fruit. And he's been going around doing stuff. So Luffy would see that situation, be like, oh, no, I'm... I'm gunning for him. I mean, y'all handle everybody else. I'm going for him. Yo, you. I mean, you're forgetting that the whole reason Ace died is because of Blackbeard too. I don't. I, True. Yeah. Like, so I feel like just all that he's like that alone on top of everything you already said is like it's smoke when I see you. But I feel like that gives um, I feel like that gives Luffy a rage boost. We don't we don't see Luffy mad like that. I, I mean. Is that rage boost going to be beneficial? Usually in situations like this in anime, that actually leads to a loss. If you know that's not normal for that character, um, but I definitely think we would see the most vicious Gear Five we've ever seen. Like I, I think we'll be seeing some very, um, you know, not as much wacky, but it, more so disturbing things coming from Luffy in that in that uh, situation. If he really did lose himself to the fucking anger. Um, cause I mean, Hey, look, I can see it going crazy. I mean, let's say Von Auger does like snipe probably it would be Nami. Right. But it, it doesn't kill her, but she's like, you know, it, it's serious. Right. Luffy's up. It, it's up for him. Like it is. You just sniped one of my people. Like, you know, he's going in. And don't forget. He would also be after, um, Robin too. Exactly. Yeah. And they got, so they got a warp dude around. They'd be like, hey, Robin, just stay on the ship. Don't even come out. <laughs> Don't even get out here. <laughs> if he warps, got warp gone, and it's like, hey, we just out. We, we can't have that happen. Once they see that he can warp, it would just be like, oh, Robin. So this one out. Usa, uh, Nami, just stay, protect her. All right. We'll do the fighting out here. Y'all, it, it's serious, right? It's serious, serious. This dude is sniping from God. Like we don't know what's going on right now. We can't. We can afford to have Robin, Usopp, Nami, especially Chopper the Doctor, out here. It, it, so I think they would stay down, and it would, it would kind of match up the numbers a little bit, because it would just be like Luffy, uh, Jinbei, Zoro, Sanji, and I would say Frankie. It would probably be like those five people. Frankie would still be on the ship though, making sure like if everything on the ship is kosher. While the other four are off dealing with Von Auger, uh, Burgess, Doc Q, or at least trying to deal with Doc Q and Blackbeard. But I think one, you brought up a good point with this might be the most vicious Gear 5 that we've ever seen versus Blackbeard. But is that a good thing? Because when it comes to Gear 5, it was never released in the, uh, the official material. But when One Piece went on break back at the end of Wano for a whole month, Oda released the Road to Laugh Tale and it had like a bunch of extra information in it. And one of the things that he said in it about Gear 5 was the more he laughs, the stronger he gets. Now, that could foreshadow like if Luffy's fighting Blackbeard, he's just all serious. I'm going to take you down. He, that might be a weaker Gear 5, potentially. And if that's the case, and he's like, why am I not doing as much damage? Like, what's going on? And then if Blackbeard manages, like, oh, I don't know what's going on either, but corrosive got you right we then it's a bad time for everybody so he might even try to take the double free if you know i mean at that point yeah i mean so you that's a really good point i could see just because it's so un uncharacteristic for luffy that it would be maybe a temporary power boost but overall he would fizzle out faster um 
Yeah, man. I mean, I just I, the question really comes down to this at the end of the day for me, right? Because I, I, there's no straw hat that is defeating Blackbeard if it's not Luffy, not even True. close, right? So, does the strongest Gear Five that we've seen thus far? Regardless to whether that comes from a rage boost or whether a, there is no rage boost, whatever, whatever gets him the strongest, right? For let's put the time limit at 40 minutes. Does the strongest gear five beat Blackbeard in 40 minutes or does he not? I feel like that's all it comes down to. I would say, I would say no, only because of two things. Well, I guess mainly one thing. And this is speculation on my part, so you could be right on it. But I felt for a long time that Blackbeard has already awakened the darkness. Mm. Which is why with a lot of his fights, we'll see Black Hole, we cut, we come back, they're defeated. Because I think he's using a, like an awakening or like some, some absolutely crazy thing from the Yami Yami Freak that we've never seen before. And he's keeping, and Oda's keeping it hidden for a reason. And if, and if it is a Logia, which is, we forget about that a lot because we see Blackbeard getting hit all the time. But since it's a Logia, if it acts anything similar to other ones, and we saw like what happened to Punk Hazard, he could turn Winter Island just to a black hole that takes Devil Fruit powers. It, it'd just be a whole terrain where no Devil Fruit. Luffy gets taken out of Gear 5. He's just like, wait. What happened? He's gonna have to rely only on hockey, which I would say his hockey is way greater than Blackbeard's. But Blackbeard ain't no slouch, right? Like we saw S Hawk coming with a sword swing, he blocked it with one arm. Arm and hockey, like, all right, so it's hockey decent. I would say pretty good to be able to do something like that, no scratches. Still way weaker than Luffy's, but that's where he compensates with the quake punches. You gotta, so at that point, Luffy can only, he can't even go gear four. It's just, I can only use base, but we know his base is strong because base Luffy fought Kaido for a period of time. Yeah. So, like a Conqueror coated punch, he may land a couple of those on Blackbeard, do big damage, and then Blackbeard might be forced to, if he has the Awakening, use the Awakening to end everything. Because that seems to be how he does his fights. He'll like go back and forth until he sees like, all right, it's getting close. And he does something crazy, we cut, and then it's, then it's over. So I think Luffy will push him to that point. Okay, I, I see that. I mean, straight up, if if the, no matter how strong Luffy is, if he does get his Devil Fruit turned off by Blackbeard in any capacity, I, I think that's an auto loss um, until we find out something very important in the story. Because if that is the case, then we have to get some way around it eventually. Um, whether that just be you know strengthening base to the point where we knock him out and, and you know um, that is good enough or. You know, we go a different route, but I, I gotta ask though, I gotta ask. So, what do you think that Blackbeard is doing to Gigant Luffy? Or, like, is he, what is he doing to a Bajoran gun? Like, what is he, how does he get around those two attacks? And, like, like get out where he's unscathed or he's ready to even awaken or do whatever he needs to do after that? I would say if Luffy can hit him with like a Bajoran gun, the fight would just be over. I, I don't, maybe Blackbeard can, I, I don't, I don't see it. <laughs> I don't, I don't see Blackbeard being able to survive getting hit by that thing. He'll 100% be knocked out. So I think like the main issue of that fight is going to come down to Luffy having to figure, figure out a way around um, his power being taken away. It could be something like, eventually he'll learn that your, your double fruit is not just, it's, it's not just rubber. You just, you have a rubber body, but it's imagination. Whatever you think you can make happen. And maybe he could be like, oh, well, I don't want that to, to affect me. And then it just won't. That That's a realistic possibility, maybe. If he, if, but that, that happens like round two, round three. Yeah. Round one, where it's like, all right, I'm just gonna use my strongest form. Boom, Kurozu goes away. Uh-oh. Now with my strongest moves, I can't bring them out. I think, because ultimately I think it comes down to the fact that I do think Luffy is stronger than Blackbeard. Like if we go pound for pound, 
Luffy, anybody that comes from the monkey family line, you don't want to get punched by them dudes. And I think that includes back Blackbeard. And then when it comes to hockey, like Luffy's already showcased to be like one of the Supremes in the series. One of the very few people that can use advanced conquerors. So like, if for whatever reason he gets Blackbeard to a point where they're both just like boxing, even if Blackbeard has the Quake Fruit, I think Luffy can outbox him. It's that darkness fruit and possibly whatever else Blackbeard took that's going to make it really difficult because I think he's going to have to use all these things to come out on top against Luffy because Luffy is, I would say, overall stronger. Blackbeard just got too many tools. I can agree with that. I, I can agree with that. Um, yeah, man, it's, it's a sad thing, but yeah, he probably does. They probably do lose that situation. Um, yeah, it, it's too much. It's also on just yeah. yet. It's that's just, true. It's, like he still has so many um, things that he has, like just hiding, and he's also just so like underhanded. <laughs> it, exactly. So like he he'll, he might pull some stuff out that we ain't seen coming. Um, because he has so many hands and so many different pots. I wouldn't be surprised if he has some like. Uh, Kairoseki bullets and one of his flint locks that he got on his stomach. Yeah. Cut off your devil fruit and then shoots him with the sea stone bullet. And Luffy's like, what's going on? And like, I, I would not find that like weak or fraudulent from Blackbeard. I would just be like, you gotta expect something like that coming from this dude. Hmm. Yeah, no, he's underhanded, man. <laughs> Blackbeard is, uh, Oh, he's the grimiest guy in the entire yeah. series, so like I, I, I just he's know good. he's gonna do some filthy things in the future, and I already know that the the fight will be disgusting. But I yeah. do, I, I see a lot of people talking about it's gonna be a Davy back fight with uh, the Straw Hats and uh, the Black Bear Pirates. It won't be a traditional fight. How, how do you, th how, what do you think about that? I've actually speculated and definitely made a video about that before because I think it has a possibility of happening. Especially since, um, like, the whole point of Davy Back fights is to base it is to win people from the other crew. And Blackbeard has Pudding, which is of interest to Sanji, and Garp, which is obviously of interest to Luffy. Now it's like I want to get them back, and but they're with Blackbeard. Blackbeard can kill them whenever they want. So if he challenges you to a Davy Back fight because he wants something from you, like I want Nico Robin. If, if, we're gonna take back fight. If I win, I get Robin. If you win, you get back your 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 grandpa, and I'll get you put. How's that sound? That's a good deal, right? You, you gonna win anyway, right, Mr. King of the Pirates? Yeah, come on, take the deal. T take the deal. I can see him doing that. And like the Davy back fight, um, also originated on Full of Lead Island, which is Blackbeard's main base. So I think it fits perfectly for his character to like utilize that to get something really important from a different crew. And I can see it like maybe people don't want it because they think it's just going to be like a bunch of mini games like how it was against Foxy. But I think it may start something. It might start as something similar, but then it's going to devolve into like full on brawl fight. I think that's what's going to happen. It's going to be like one of those um, white beer versus Rogers crew type of fights. Only we ain't cool, mm. right? So it'll start as a so I can like see like maybe the first encounter they might lose. Second encounter might be the Davy back. Like all right, you know you can't beat me straight up. So you, you do the challenge. When your granddad when your granddaddy back the fairway, and then they might see him cheating or however it goes. Something else may happen. A marine may pull up because I think I, a kind of keeping to do something crazy, and it's going to just devolve into all right. Forget the game, we boxing. I'm just gonna take you down and I'm leaving with everything. Hmm. I can see that being a possibility. I feel it, I feel it. I feel the same What'd you way. think about it? I mean, I've been waiting to see how this Davy Bad Fight goes. I actually don't remember uh, Foxy too much. Uh, hmm. I, like, honestly, I think I didn't, cause that was only in the anime, right? No, it was it was in a manga too. It was it's a it's an arc because Long Ring Long Land is an arc, but it is very short. I, I don't even think it was over twenty chapters long. I think it was like fifteen. 
chapters at most, maybe. It was like maybe, it was like, I think less than 10 episodes. It's a short arc. It's, it's not crazy long. So it was just kind of like to showcase that one, yes, David Beck fights are a thing. And two, it introduced Aokiji at the end of the arc. That was, that was pretty much it. Yeah, because I, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, ten, almost ten years ago, I just took an entire summer and caught up on all, uh, all the Winter's chapters, and I've been up to date ever since. But like, man, I do not remember Foxy. That's all I'm coming out for the, the card game. I'm like, <laughs> Foxy, <laughs> who is Foxy, bro? So but, many people thought he was a filler kid. Yeah, I thought, I thought he was a filler character too. I'm like, oh yeah, he was probably just an anime. That's why I don't remember him, but. I know I've seen him at some point. I just don't remember that arc very well. It's been a very long time. But um, yeah, in terms of the David Back fights, you already know Blackbeard's a cheater. We already established that this man is grimy. He's on filthy, diabolical kind of work. And so uh, I just look at that and I'm like, this is going to be the perfect time for him to cheat. And there's going to be some crazy cheats. There's going to be some like disgusting things that go on. And you know, Luffy's gonna not not take well to that. That, that that's the best I can say. Um, and especially if it's like with his uh, his family on the line, name exactly, uh, yeah. Robin is like nah, Rob. I don't even know. I feel like that might. If, I feel like worst case scenario, if they do lose, that's gonna be like Luffy's gonna be like nah, fuck you. <laughs> He's like, nah, exactly you, right. You're not so, getting either way, it's gonna it's gonna drop it to a brawl regardless. If yeah. we lose, I'm still gonna fight. Like what? I just got nothing to lose now. We yeah. we boxing everything. Yeah. It's just who knows? Maybe that'll be when Blackbeard reveals I got a third double free. Because I think Blackbeard still has potential to be the like absolute strongest being in the history of the series. Because. Mm. I think he has awakened his darkness fruit. But if he also awakens the like I would imagine he's going to awaken the quake fruit too because it's very destructive and Whitebeard would never awaken that fruit because that's not the type of person he is. He just had the fruit. Blackbeard would though. So I think there might come a time in the series like we saw already in Amazon Lily where he was contemplating the idea of just well before Rayleigh even showed up he was like guess I got no choice I'm gonna just kill you which would have left his crew stone he was going to just sacrifice them anyway he, ultimately he didn't care yeah. right it wasn't until he, he was like all right Rayleigh might be a problem and I don't want problems even if he, you know he could have dealt with it so in a situation like that I can definitely see Blackbeard you know, being a careless, crazy, destructive person that he'll awaken that fruit. And what do you think an awakened quake fruit could do? Because that'd be crazy. The man that could destroy the world, man. Quite literally, at that point. Every punch will be felt worldwide. It might be on some type of a uh, Goku versus Beerus from the anime where it's like they were clashing punches and every punch that they clashed shook the universe. And it was like, dang, if they do that like two or three more times, the universe is going to crumble. It might be on like Blackbeard awaken clashes with Luffy because he doesn't have advanced conquerors, but it but awaken Quake Fruit might equal that, and they both just clash, and we don't split the sky. Maybe we crack the sky. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we split the ocean. Maybe the red line crumbles, something like that. And it's like, yo, y'all can't keep clashing. These are causing worldwide calamities, but the fight will rage on. And if he can have that awaken and wake awake, awaken, I mean, have that awaken, uh, have the darkness awaken, and everybody's been speculating he's going to get a third double fruit, and it'll probably be of the third class zone, so probably a mythical zone, and then awaken that, he's going to be a problem, even without, like, crazy hockey. So it'll be very interesting to see how Luffy even attempts to deal with that, because the same time Blackbeard has all this potential with them, the sky is still the limit with Luffy too. Because with Gear 5, the scope of what it is he can do is only limited by what he knows. And so far, I think he's been like slowly breaking away from just manipulating reality basically in a way similar to Rubber. Like another spoiler from the current manga, fighting the Gorosei and they're like shooting these poison biju bombs and he just... He, he turns a tree into a bat 
pulls out hot, he just pulls out like black paint, paints this new bat that he made, and it's like hockey paint because this is like a hockey up bat now. He can smack them all away, and they all create nuclear explosions in the distance. So it seems like little by little he's starting to do things that have nothing to do with rubber, and he might just kind of realize I can do what I want. And where that goes, I think Luffy versus Black Bear will probably be one fight. We just can't predict how it'll turn out. Because they're both two characters that can literally do whatever they want. I feel that. As you can see, I'm having some technical difficulties with my camera. Um, hey, camera problems be annoying. Yeah. But did you have anything else that you wanted to say about it? No, I think... Uh, I think pretty squarely with the Straw Hats track record of struggling in the face of new powers and new adversity, Blackbeard would probably be the biggest problem that they could meet for the first time. Because at the same time, no one's ever, they've never fought him. And no one in their crew has ever fought anybody in their crew. They, they have no experience. And that lack of experience versus how ruthless, conniving, and cunning the Blackbeard pirates are in general, it's not a good combination. Like, everybody lost to an L the first time. Luffy, Zoro lost to Luchi the first time they fought him. Right? Just because they didn't know what he did. It was just because I would say even back then, Luffy was stronger than Luchi. Because Luchi has to go Tech Kai to block Luffy, you know, to make sure they don't hurt him. But if you don't know what Tech Kai is, you throwing a fist at him that ultimately is just setting you up to get countered. Mm. So you could just walk into traps and against Blackbeard's crew without this knowledge, they're walking into traps. And I don't think that's a good look. So I would give it to them. Yeah, and then you would also probably say that Blackbeard, uh, based on his his nature, has probably studied up on uh, the trials quite a bit. Yeah, I'm for yeah. sure. This dude knows everything. Like, oh yeah, I know you've been training with the uh, you've been training with Mihawk, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about what you did over in Wano. I, I got my sources. I got my materials. So they're not catching him by surprise. There might be a few things that would, like. I can see them losing, but they would definitely live because, you know, we still got the Sunny, and unlike every other ship in the series, Sunny can essentially fly. So with Frankie's bounty poster being the Sunny, I can see people, you know, thinking, oh, I don't know what's going on, but I, I guess he's the ship. So, But, you know, Frankie might be on the ship in the tuck and everybody else gets defeated, but he can round them all up on the ship with the Frankie Shogun or something. Coop the burst. All right, saves us. Maybe we lost Robin. Maybe we lost um, opponent with Robin or something. But we be gone. Yeah. Whereas Law's crew, other than him and Beppo, were not. <laughs> yeah. Because like not being able to fly sucks. They were. They went. They only fought Blackbeard because they had no choice. It was like, man, if we take another one of those quake punches, we're going. Our ship is going to explode underwater. We got to surface and we got to fight them. They didn't want to. They were trying to run, but they couldn't run from the quake punches. Yeah. Like, a range is maddening. That's dumb, man. That's dumb. That's gross. <laughs> That's gross. Yeah. But definitely looking forward to seeing Luffy fight Blackbeard for the first time. And I'm pretty sure whenever they do fight, it's going to have to be after Blackbeard fight Shanks. Mm. Oda did say we're gonna get like he was like yeah that person's fighting that person this year. I think that's gonna have to be the fight. Hey, we only got six months left, man. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is. Time's been flying. That is true. Yeah, the um, these chapters coming out. Maybe that person, that person won't fight this year. They fight early next year. I don't know, bro. I don't you know. know. I, I won't even put that past Oda. I, I hope not. I feel like, but who knows? Because a lot of stuff's been going on at the same time. Like, while we were in, in Egghead, we essentially got five arcs in one. It was like, we got Egghead, we got Winter Island situation with Blackbeard and Law, Elbeth situation with Law, I mean, uh, with Shanks and Kid, uh, full of that situation with Garp and the Blackbeard Pirates, and then the Holy Land with Sabo, Emu, Wapple, and Vivi. So it's like, a lot of stuff happening so you know after this arc when we go to Elbath I think there'll be time for us to still be there while this happens in the background and we still see it 
Because after all, at the end of the day, we haven't seen Shanks take his next move yet. We just know he's going after the One Piece. Manga spoilers, he took out Kid and took his Poneglyphs, which Kid had... Kid only had two, though. Kid had Big Moms, because he took that one, and he had Kaido's. Mm -hmm. I don't think Kid had the one on Zo. So, when it comes to that, he has to fight Blackbeard, because... Actually, now that I think about it, they're, they're being set up to fight each other. Because Kid had Big Mom and Kaido's, but he's missing Zo. Law had Zo and Kaido's, but he was missing Big Mom's. So that means Blackbeard has Zo and Kaido's, and Shanks has Big Mom and Kaido's. They need a, they need a cross pass to get the last one from the other. Then they will have three, and now they just need to get the final hidden one, same way Luffy is. Luffy is the closest right now because he got three. They only got two. And unless they get it from Luffy, they got to get it from each other. Yeah, they can only get it from each other, though, man. But that, that fight, that, that fight, that's a whole different video, man. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. Yeah, man. All right, I think we call it there. Yeah, that was a good one. Uh, if you have any, if you have any comments on what you think would have happened if Luffy fought against Blackbeard at Winter Island, like taking into account, you know that they were kind of taken by surprise, all this stuff. You can let me know your thoughts down below because I would love to see more pers uh, perspectives on it because, you know, whenever we get break weeks, it, we're supposed to come together as a collective, share ideas, try to predict what happens next. And hey, this is one of them weeks. Yes, it is. All right. Catch y'all next time. All right. Peace. Peace.